Hello everyone, so today we're going to look at a problem of KVPUI. This problem came in the year 2021, that is this year. So let's start with the problem. The problem is, find the value of the given expression. And the given expression consists of 5 terms. So before I start this question, I want to tell you, this big bracket means, greatest change of function of x, okay, and enclosed by this values. So this value is 2 raised to the power 2020 plus 1 upon 2 raised to the power 2018 plus 1, and so on so fourth up to fifth term okay the fifth term only the base is changing if you see there's a difference between these terms the only difference is the base is changing right now here the base is 2 here the base is 3 and so on the base is increasing up to sixth term so let's start so let's say the first term is t1 i'm going to simplify t1 and similar manner i'm going to generalize for t2 so let's say this is t2 t3 t4 and t5 okay so let's start with t1 okay then i'll generalize for t2 t3 and so on up to t fifth term okay so first term is 2 raised to power 2020 plus 1 whole divided by 2 raised to power 2018 plus 1 now it will be very easy to calculate if i convert this into integer plus some value right so to convert this something into integer plus some value, I need this numerator as my denominator. So let's try to convert numerator as denominator. So I can write this as, I can write this as 2, uh, 2, 2000, 2 raised to power 2018 plus 1 multiplied by 2 square in order to get 2020 again. Now I have to make 1 again here I'm getting 4 so I have to subtract 3 and whole divide by 2 raised to power 2018 plus 1 now if I divide individually I'll get t1 as if I divide individually this term by this term I'll get this as 4 minus 3 upon 2 raised to power 2018 plus 1 now we are getting this as greatest new function of 4 minus 3 upon 2 raised to power 2018 plus 1 is definitely a fraction. That means this term is less than 1 and obviously greater than 0. So 4 minus fraction part inside the greatest integer function will give me 3. For sure. Now in similar manner, I got the logic. Now I can solve for t2. I got t1 as 3. Now I can solve for t2. t2 the only difference in the t2 is only the base is changing. So here I want to make numerator as denominator. So I'll be taking 3 square common. If I take 3 square common, I'll be getting this as 9 minus a fraction value. 9 minus fraction value is 8. Similar manner, I can write t3, t4 and t5, right? So let's write t3, t4, t5. So t3 will be 4 square, that is 16 minus 1. And fractional part of 16 minus 1 is 15. Similar manner, similar manner, I can write T4, that is 25 minus 1, that is 24. And T5 as 36 minus 1, that is 35. Now if you add all, okay, sum. If you add all, T of I, then the sum will be equal to 85. So 85 is our final answer. And that will be all. Thank you.